is doing. So he has, in fact, he only approached me. I didn't ever go, go to him. He <laughs> said, Harun Ahmed, I want you because I'm a DTM in the Toastmaster. So with ah, the DTM okay. and he says, I want you to, to be with me so that okay. we can extend the training for the teacher, the students, and even the supervisor and other principals. So, so, so you're keeping uh, very busy. Keeping very busy, huh? Very busy. <laughs> yes, I don't sit idle. I don't sit idle. And I'm not <laughs> a retired person. I'm not a person who gets retired. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be doing, in fact, a, at a different phase of life, a different yeah. uh, level, I'll be doing that. And in fact, That's I don't mind uh, guiding and counseling any of you for the parenting. I'm yeah. very good at, I'm very good. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> We need counseling okay. classes. <laughs> we need a counseling session. So, like your uh, chemistry tuitions, maybe we need to start something. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, just quick intro, just to, just to make you aware who's in the room with us. So, we have Suleiman Yusuf, who, who is I I believe he's calling in from Dubai today. Oh, his audio is a little. Suli, Suli, your audio is breaking up a little bit. You may want to fix that. Okay. Hey, okay. Hey. Hey, yeah, it's better. Is it okay now? Better. Okay. Suleiman looks, I'm seeing Suleiman after a long time, and Suleiman yeah. looks very matured and <laughs> like CEO of a company. Yeah? <laughs> How are Inshallah, you? Inshallah, so. Very matured. Right. I'm fine. I'm fine. And then we nice, have, uh, nice to see you. We have uh, Mohit, to I'm have seeing fun. Mohit uh, after a long time. I'm seeing Suleiman after a long time. Khalid, I've been seeing some time. And Ron also after a long time. Ron. Yeah, yeah, we connected on Facebook. So the, these are the chaps we got today, but there's a lot more, but they're all spread across in the world and they're busy, they're, some are working. So, but for the benefit of everyone, and, I, and, and with your permission, we want to record this session and so we can share it with the others as well, if you're no okay problem. with that. That's okay. fine, that's fine. Excellent. So I guess there should be some kind of structure as we talk about things. Uh, so I thought, I figured we'll uh, um, maybe just start with what happened after 2003, <laughs> because we passed out and then we forgot about school. We were involved in college and so on. Um, so it, how long did you stay with um, the Dubai, the branch, before it broke up into, into the various branches? And then could you just maybe Fill us on, on the details, what we missed. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll, I'll tell you. In fact, 2000, I took over as a supervisor of grade 9 and 10. And then uh, uh, 2003, you passed out. I continued till 2007. So okay. I was in, we were in Alvarka, Arun High School, Alvarka. So sure. up to 2007, I was the supervisor. <laughs> then I got an offer in Arab Unity School as a principal. <laughs> directly from supervisor to principal. So I resigned here and I joined the Arab Unity School as a principal. Wow. Then three wow. years I completed there. There I was handling the British curriculum. Okay. Throughout I have been in the CBSC. Yeah. Uh, handling British curriculum. Three mm. years I completed there. In fact, they wanted someone who can discipline the student. Okay. Uh, discipline was quite uh, challenging that time. Uh -huh. so, it was Arab unity, so... Yes, yes. Arab unity, you made me knowing. So, when uh, in the interview, they asked me, can you discipline the children? I said, I can do it, but I need time. I said, in one and a half year, I'll be able to do it. I mm. give the time. Okay. And it took me one and a half year that school started improving. When I left, school was much better than the way I took, took over. Then 2010, I left there. Again, James called me that you come back. In fact, in, uh, throughout my life, I've never applied anywhere. I've not sent my CV to anyone. <laughs> Word of mouth. Okay. And the student's recommendation, teacher's recommendation, and parent recommendation. Even Arab Unity, I was called. Only telephone call I received, and I, in five, 10 minutes talk, they said, okay, we are offering you. We heard a lot about you. Wow. Then after Arab Unity, uh, 
came back to uh, Gems, but Gems, there was only a place in our Fujairah. They said, will you be interested in Fujairah? Okay. So I said, yes. So I came here. Here situation were different. Again, another challenge. Here, two curriculum I was handling. One is CBSC and one is British curriculum again. Okay. Oh. So I, was, I had an experience of handling British curriculum, so there was no problem. CBSC I was doing from the beginning. So mm -hmm. both the combination I got here. Finally, I started in 2010 here. Yeah. And up to 2009, 19, I continued. Oh. December 2019, I left here. Yeah. Then I went back to India. And in fact, so, at first I started relaxing because 36 years of teaching and administration, yeah. I said, let me relax. Mm -hmm. Rest part of it, I went to Netherlands to relax more with my grandchildren. Uh, yeah. And they used to make <laughs> yeah. me busy. And that was a very, very fine, very wonderful time I had. That was like our was age. A blessing for me. <laughs> That six months I was with the children, so I've seen them growing. How a crawling child start walking. Wow! So that was a wonderful time I had. But yeah. in the meantime, then I said, okay, came, I came back to this, and Fujara, uh, again known place. I'm very familiar and very comfortable here. So I'm with Tavriz now nowadays. Is uh, in British education any? Uh, I mean, you mentioned, sir. So British education any different from CBSE in terms of handling, handling and children and stuff? Uh, yes, I'll tell you. Good, good. You ask me a question. Uh, in fact, CBSE we teach a lot. Lot means lot. Like chemistry, when I was teaching, eighteen chapters, finishing in hardly eight months was a big challenge. Here we don't have that many chapters, that much content is not there. Like they have about eight to 10 chapter, but the same content, they will ask in different way. Multiple choice questions, Multiple reasoning question, logical questions, mm -hmm. practical based, high order thinking questions. Mm -hmm. And when you're going for extended paper, rather mm -hmm. than core. Core paper is basic paper. Yes. If the child is not interested in the subject, then he or she will opt for the core. And the core may basic thing only we teach and child will get maximum C grade. Mm -hmm. That is the maximum limit for the core child. Mm -hmm. And if you are doing extended, then you can get up to A star and A star can be even 100%. And in fact, we had uh, one girl who scored top of the world in this uh, uh, our own Fujara. Oh. Mm -hmm. Her name was Aisha Memon. And mm -hmm. what, uh, uh, how uh, she did it? She did homeschooling up to grade eight. Ninth class, she joined with us. Nine, 10, 11, three years, regular teaching. And then she topped the world in mathematics. And in chemistry, got 99%. So that was the uh, outstanding result. Uh, I don't figure we produced that. Do, 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 so what do you recommend, sir, uh, uh, for the yes, next I, generation of children? Uh, yes, sir, that's a good one. Uh, but if you if the, you want children to continue their studies in India, but I will not recommend British curriculum or even IB curriculum of US. Because the IB curriculum and British curriculum, this is catering for the American university or any European university, the children will be able to adjust very well. First of all, the style, uh, uh, the uh, uh, way they learn, that one is very suitable for the Brit uh, British or American or European uh, uh, degrees or your degree college. But in India, what we require, we require a solid base in mathematics, solid base in physics, solid base in chemistry. Mm -hmm. Suppose you are going to IIT or any engineering college, uh, some of you have gone, and there you will find that you cannot be successful unless you are good at mathematics, physics, and chemistry if you're going for engineering. And I, I recommend if you score above 80% marks, then only you should go for engineering co college, otherwise not. Now, this CBSE child can adjust in American and British curriculum, 
but vice versa is not possible mm. this oh, british yeah. curriculum child may not exist in fact one child came uh, ran away from the uh, uh, engineering uh, one of the engineering college of india because he was used to uh, uh, do calculation with a calculator <laughs> and then calculator used to take uh, like uh, uh, very very difficult he found it very difficult <laughs> and many concept your integral and calculus he was not very sure finally mm -hmm. he ran away from there joined one of the dubai university and then he continued here but i'll tell you if, uh, in fact the wholesome yeah uh, if you see wholesome development of a child the better is british curriculum i'll say because too much content is not required even today you see how much you worked hard for the mathematics physics and chemistry today it is of no use we don't remember any of it yes you don't remember any concept but what you remember that the way you organize your studies discipline that yes. is helping that must be helping you the, the way discipline does help then uh, the number of hours you could devote that may be helping you in your office that's okay right. so that is there but i'll tell you in uh, I, other way this british curriculum i'll tell you the child is first of all very confident he can express even grade 3 or grade 4 child i just call he can just explain everything i'll give you one example very interesting anecdote i'll tell you uh, i appoint, uh, i was appointing head boy in grade 4 in our own english high school fujara very very interesting the i asked the boy do you know about uno and the grade 4 child answer the way i'll tell you now the child belong to uh, iraq the boy said sir yes it is an organization whenever two countries uh, uh, have difference of opinion this is the words he is using and when they have got difference of opinion and the when two big countries are not in good term then uno comes in between and they try to solve the problem i said do you feel you know is able to manage yes sir in any organization plus minus points are always there and they do quite well and i'll tell you i salute <laughs> the child at grade 4 he the way he answered the question was really really good that's true they are very confident whatever you are mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they will ask as as them they used to come to my office sir can you change this teacher i said hello i don't need your opinion to change the teacher but <laughs> you tell me what is your problem <laughs> they they are very very open in that okay communication i said why yeah. why you want said this i don't understand this i don't understand. they can express themselves very well and i'll tell you as a like cbc child generally we feel hesitant how can you talk to the headmaster or principal like this first of all entering the office is like you get nervous and the second is expressing your point of view and expressing your point of view alone not in a group they will not come in group one child come will come and express i feel like this i feel the school should be like this i feel can you change the building can you change the color of the building <laughs> they can <laughs> they can do this so that way they are very very open and i'm i feel that they're very confident they are very smart people and in fact if you want uh, to take them in marketing they are very good in mm -hmm. fact one of my student asked uh, he is the entrepreneur in dubai his name is ali mr ali i said uh, tell me he says i don't uh, uh, appoint cbse children for my marketing purpose i appoint igcse children that is british curriculum children because they can express very well sir and with little guidance they will go beyond my expectation this was his opinion mm -hmm. okay so anyway like uh, but both has got plus and minus said uh, uh, thing uh, but now as the new education policy has come in india mm -hmm. and i think uh, this has got a lot of a scope where children will be given opportunity mm -hmm. to express their point of view in different platform so that uh, they will uh, get it uh, this time
I believe but, they were looking at revamping the uh, CBSC syllabus also, am I right? He, Yes, yes. In fact, they are going back to the same old senior Cambridge, Cambridge used to be there. Uh, this was about uh, like uh, in my time, like 11th class was the uh, highest class. So 11 plus then three, uh, three years uh, degree or four year degree. Now they're planning. So that uh, uh, is coming back. But they had more of the vocational and like some, no, all children should not go to the university. In fact, all children should not go to the university. Some of them should go to the vocational uh, courses and they can excel themselves over there. And in fact, everybody should not become doctor and engineer, doctor, engineer, or IS officer or lawyer or a yeah, limited uh, profession. In mm -hmm. fact, lots of new profession are there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, we, we have a good uh, diversity of professions among our own batch. We have, uh, yes. um, we have people uh, who are uh, doing business uh, development. I mean, Suli, Suli is definitely, definitely one there. Um, okay. We have people in, who have gone on to the economics stream, uh, doing well for themselves there. Um, and then people working in the airports. So not, not everyone is engineer. We have a lot of doctors as well. So that's also nice. Yes. So I, we are talking a lot about COVID and all, so it's, it's nice to have doctors in the group uh, and we respect their opinions. <laughs> um, wow, okay, so, so that's, that's nice. So we had a nice little chat there about CBSE versus, and, and I agree with, with some of the things you said. Certainly some of us who went to the US for education um, after passing out, we had a sort of a culture shock as well. <laughs> and mostly with the, exactly the, the stuff you mentioned, um, where students are more open, uh, open thinkers and may, more maybe uh, not hesitant to apply themselves or express their opinions. And right. the teacher-student relationship was like friends. You yes, know, you, it, it they is. would go go to it them is. and call them by their first name. And yeah, right. sitting in freshman class, you're wondering <laughs> what did you know? We were this is not how we were <laughs> taught in the last yes, yes, years. Yes. But uh, yeah, and and. And I agree with uh, with the way teaching is. I mean, uh, certainly CBSE, as we remember, it was more of uh, the, the rote learning, the rote memorization, and uh, and I don't I don't know if I if, I don't know if you guys remember. I mean, in your twelfth board exams, do you remember getting multiple choice questions? <laughs> I think there were a few, but not as much. <laughs> it was mostly all essay type. You know, you work out the math uh, or you you explain like. For example, biology, like, lots of paragraphs. options for the five marks box. I think one mark, two mark, three mark, and five mark, like that used to be there. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And that was and that was not where the weightage was. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, and and uh, for some of us, even now, I don't think uh, you know, with with the coming of Coursera and EDX, some of us are still continuing the education, you know. Um, and if you look at some of those courses, all of them are made in a multiple choice style. So there will be video tutorials, but then the questions to test you will be all multiple choice. And you know, depending on which you, which uh, who is the provider, you know, the questions can be quite tough. So if you didn't, thank you. Thank if you didn't, yeah, it's it's thinking. You have to apply lateral thinking. Um, so you know, it's it's not easy, even though it's multiple choice. You you gotta connect the dots. And, mm -hmm. and 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 answer the question. So um, yeah, I totally you, totally yeah, agree you, with you. You can't just rule out the wrong. You can't do that. Yeah, that uh, some you can. So <laughs> if you don't know, the mostly answer. you can't. I mean, they become <laughs> way smarter now. Before you could rule out the wrong, you know, and uh, come to the right answer. But now you can't do that. Yeah, uh, you can you can kind of narrow down your search. I mean, you can use that as a strategy. Yes. For example, like in, in SAT, uh, if you remember SAT, doing your SATs. Uh, in fact, they used to teach that as a as a answering style. Like if you don't know yes. what the answer is. If you is, don't know. If you, when you don't know. True. Eliminate the ones that you think. Eliminate. Is, you know, yeah. And but go it's, ahead. It's a, it's, a, it's a strategy. Um, so that's great. So 2010 to 2019 with Fujera, that's a long, like, time with, uh, with school. Uh, but we just want to get back to the teachers. So um, we don't know what happened to some of the teachers and it's like a mystery. Uh, for example, the, one of the famous legends of OEHS was Dr. J.T. Mathai or Mr. J.T. Mathai. I don't know if he was a PhD, but uh, 
what happened to him <laughs> uh, yes i was in contact with him uh, for like about 3 years up to 2010 yeah uh, he used to send me uh, a letter after that i don't know i think he has gone to kerala first he went to hyderabad okay actually he had a house in hyderabad he worked in uh, in uh, hyderabad public school before coming to dubai he was in hyderabad public school i think after retirement also he went there and then he settled in hyderabad and yeah. from hyderabad i think he has gone back to kerala back to somebody kerala. knows yeah. there who who is this uh, who are you talking about mr mathai mr mathai mr mathai mr mathai yep yeah, yeah. Uh, come on mohit <laughs> you can't forget him <laughs> i can't forget him <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah it's a, it's a mystery i mean i tried uh, googling uh, on 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 internet i yeah couldn't find any information on on him so I was curious what happened to him so he's in kerala i guess he's enjoying his last he's a yeah he's peaceful off grid but so and then uh, so, so mr, Ron, mr. Ron, ne- next virtual session invite mr mathai <laughs> you see if we you see hey, everyone hey, wearing hey, their hey. uniforms correctly I mean, I'm I'm absolutely game for that. I mean, if we can find his whereabouts, absolutely. Now I, I remember, so, so, uh, but I remember meeting know. Mr. Mathai in school, uh, even few years after our, uh, you know, okay. after coming back, and uh, his approach towards us as alumni coming back and meeting him was very different. I mean, you know, this was another Mr. Mathai. I mean, I, I never had any bad times with him, even in school, by God's grace. <laughs> but um, uh, meeting him personally after even after school was uh, he was he was quite delighted he was uh, really happy and uh, definitely you know he was very welcoming you know yeah, he was very yeah, well yeah there was that side to him especially towards the alumni yes. yeah yeah and and even 12th grade he changed a lot towards the 12th grade yes i think maybe that was because i mean he knew this batch was about to pass out and you know he had a and and overall i think he changed a lot towards those last two years we were in Was, yeah he mellowed down for sure yeah yeah absolutely he mellowed down i think not only with the, just the 12th graders but like even like other other kids you know he yeah was different but what about, i want to know what happened to the other principal like the main principal who was there for a long time and i think the suresh mathur uh, suresh mathur madhav madhav rao madhav rao yeah yeah uh, but mr suresh mathur yeah ah uh, mr uh, yeah suresh mathur is there in the mayo college he is in the, i think uh, board of governors uh, uh, mayo college mm-hmm. he is there in ajmer i heard that he is in uh, ajmer okay i think yeah. uh, I, facebook he'll be there i, I think he is there on the facebook <laughs> so and, so what yeah. is your uh, advice for the rebellious nature of the students these days you know or the rebellious wait, nature wait, of wait, the eight minute eight, eight minute khalid khalid we were talking about teachers we will come to your question one second okay. we were talking okay. about teachers because we want to know no even the, even the old students want to know what happened to okay okay go so, ahead go ahead so what about akia ramath i mean uh, mr akia is there in bombay oh, he's in bombay okay uh, he's, oh, he's there in very, bombay. very much hmm. he's in, he's in good health i hope yeah he's in good health and he's from bombay is it hi he's from bombay he's got a house in bombay yeah um and then uh, which teacher do you remember mohit which teacher do you remember i remember mr rashid ah <laughs> oh, mr rashid okay <laughs> yeah yeah mr rashid what happened to him our, our math teacher sir mr rashid he is there he is very much there in karama oh masha still <laughs> yeah still still in karama he is, wow <laughs> he is he is in fact he is still Pretty teaching amazing. am i right am i right he still yeah, he is still teaching yes He's he's quite young actually. I mean, we, he wasn't that old when Correct. he passed. Correct. Yeah, he's so he's continuing yeah. his career. And then um, we met Mr. Shepherd. He is also. I mean, he was doing okay, but after his wife passed, I think it, he was a little bit shaken. Uh, but mm. uh, I mean, he's 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 doing okay. I think in North India, he's still uh, he's still involved with the school. Darjeeling and Darjeeling. There are two not Masuri. I think there are two Masuri. One of the hill stations. Not sure, but I. And he's involved a lot with the uh, with the female. Uh, the young female uh, soccer team or something i mean he's he's volunteering as a coach but he's, he seems to be doing okay um mr nasha dali he's with dps in, in dubai yes, i believe yes nasha dali um 
Kishan Singh? Kishore Singh? Uh, he was yeah, Kishan Singh. <laughs> Kishan Singh. But there was another geography uh, teacher as well, Kishan Singh. Michael Umi? Like, no, no, Mr. Kishan Singh, another geography uh, teacher. Remember him? Uh, Kishan Singh, only. Yes, yes, Kishan Singh. Mr. Kishan Singh was taking geography. Yeah, yeah. What about what? Any any idea? Any idea where he is? I remember no, some Mr. Kishan Singh stories, man. I remember some really good <laughs> yeah. stories. That's why it came up in my mind. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in the group chat, I think. <laughs> he he left for Abu Dhabi. Actually, when I was a supervisor, he left for Abu Dhabi. And then after that, I don't know whether he went back to mm. India or not. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. So uh, what about what our, about, our um, senior supervisor, Mr. A.C. Philip? Ah, mm. A.C. Philip has gone back to Kerala. And uh, Mr. Gauri Shankar? Gauri Shankar is... Uh, Mohit's favorite. He's there in Facebook. Very nice. Speaker. But he is, <laughs> I think, Malaysia or Indonesia. Hmm. Some, that, that that part, I, I'm not very sure. I'm not very Gauri sure. Shankar and Mr. Mutharasan, if you remember Mr. Mutharasan. Ah, Mutharasan, Mutharasan. He, he is, is in Mutharasan. Canada. He's in Canada. Ah, Canada, correct. correct. You are right. Canada. And so and, there was uh, one more chemistry teacher. There was one more chemistry teacher other than yourself. Dr. Mr. Hilal Siddiqui? Yusuf. <laughs> yes, Mr. Hilal Yusuf, correct. And Hilal is there. Hilal is still there. He's, he's still he's Al still in Dubai, uh, Mohit. He's in he's, he's in, still in uh, Dubai. And yeah, then okay. also all the Gomes brothers, they're also there, I think. Still still here. Yeah, Jerry Gomes uh, there. Jerry Gomes. Um Mr. Lionel Young, the junior supervisor, he went back to Mumbai, I think. Bombay, yes, he's in Bombay and he very actively right. involved now. Yeah, he's he's doing <laughs> a lot of cycling. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you got to enjoy your last year, right? He is enjoying uh, it. It's, 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 it's good. Um, so, Mr. Like Charan that... is still there, computer, computer yeah. science teacher. He's, 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 he's still there. He's yeah. there. Mr. Yadav. No, Mr. Charan. 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 Uh, Mr. Charan is in there in Jem's uh, corporate office. Corporate Charan office. Charan is there okay. in Jem's corporate office, and while uh, JS Yadav is still in this court. I, I, I think his son is doing pretty well also academically. Uh, he's always posting uh, news about his son's performance. <laughs> I think he's in 10th grade, I think. In 10th grade. His son, Charan, Mr. Charan's. Uh, but should uh, I give you one comment on this? Sure. Uh, like, uh, you are so fortunate that you had teacher who could touch you, who could shout at you. Imagine a yes. virtual classes nowadays. Hmm. No. Children are deprived of the teacher's touch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I'll tell you that Very true. whatever you can say, the best school in the world, but it's still that virtual classes cannot replace the actual classes when teacher is to be there. Yeah, even the, even the very act of oh, you know, writing on the board. If you remember, right, a lot of our right. teachers were writing on the board. Yeah. But nowadays, the electronic form of communication instruction it's, just doesn't replicate the same thing. And actually, doesn't. sir, if you, if you look at it, in fact, I, I'm taking some courses on uh, EDX, which is an uh -huh. education platform, from MIT, for example. Uh -huh. There, the professors are still teaching on the board. And I noticed this. And you know, they, they, they don't think that that is an outdated form of instruction. They are literally writing things, even though they have a piece of paper in the hand, they are uh -huh. you know, looking at it and writing it and making the effort to write it on the board. It is a very traditional way to teach, but they believe in those things. You know, it's not outdated for the top schools. Effectiveness. Um, yeah. And and maybe it's, it, yeah, like you said, it's effective. Uh, you know, when they're, when they're writing in the body language and what they're listening, they, I guess the students want to take more notes that way. I don't know, just a theory. Um, and they are also paying attention. Like if you write something wrong, like, you know, you guys remember when some, you know, if teacher writes something wrong on the board, you would immediately, sir, sir, maybe that's wrong. So did you mean <laughs> that, you know, and yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> So, you know, there's that nice uh, uh, that back and forth between teacher and student when they write on the board, which I noticed, which many students are missing these days because of the electronic form. You know, PowerPoint and all, I mean, I really miss that. When, when we went to the US, um, some of us, a lot of the instruction was on a big screen projector okay. and uh, professors standing there and they're just, uh, you know, lecturings. Okay. Like, well, you know, there was something really missing in that mm -hmm. instruction. Um, so yeah, absolutely, I agree. But what it's, to do? it's changing it's, though. It's changing. Even school over here is is like that. 
I'm sure school in Dubai is also changing. Uh, they may have changed a lot of ways, right? It's Sir, completely is, virtual. So, it's completely virtual yeah, now. I, I have, yeah. I think my, my daughter is in year one and there's no blackboard. Oh, maybe barely, I don't even remember having a whiteboard. So, but we have got interactive yeah. board now. This, uh, in our GEMS yes. school, yeah. we have got interactive board. Interactive. And teachers are expert. And it's, in fact, the child will go and child will also do something. And then mm. uh, that that what uh, happened. In fact, yeah. today's the latest technique, I'll tell you, the independent learning. Independent mm. learning. It is child who will decide what to learn, mm. not teacher. Interesting. That's a old outdated can, concept. Can, can can you give us an example? Is that is that being implemented now? Yes. In fact, our British curriculum, we started long back. It is slowly coming in the other school as well. In fact, teacher plan a lesson, okay. consultation with the child. Child say, okay, we will do uh, uh, electricity tomorrow. I'm in mood, like I saw, sir, I saw one bulb and it got fused. So that's why he is interested to know electricity. The teacher will uh, uh, plan a lesson according to the child. Now, child will also come very well prepared. Okay. It's not teacher who will give information. In fact, child will also give another challenge to this child. Can you find out this, 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 like ampere, current, and a voltmeter, uh, ammeter? Okay, child will find out with all Google search and everything. Child will come prepare. Child will give a small little presentation. This is teacher will say, okay, other, mm. uh, what other children think about it? Teacher mm. is not speaking. In fact, teacher should not speak at all. Teacher should speak 30%. Children should yeah. speak 70%. 30, 70 is the concept now. Yeah. Because that time we used to speak 90% and you... <laughs> You're sitting <laughs> like this, and yeah. sometime only, uh, some uh, like Mohit will ask a question, and then okay, and we, we see that that used to happen, but today is not. And in yeah. fact, we have to make child an independent learner. Mm. That tomorrow is independent learner, and for that independent learning only, sometimes school may not require. We don't require a school. Child can study at home also. All resources can be provided to the child. Mm. All his skill, the how to learn, the teacher has to explain how to learn from these mm -hmm. resources, these resources, these resources. Resources available, choice is available uh, to the right. child, and then child learn. This is if you know the Khan Academy. Now yeah. Salman Khan, you yeah. know Salman Khan. Yes, yes. Got yes. the Bombay. Uh, I'm talking about you. Must be knowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, American that fellow, and he gave a long back this theory. Okay, that school should not be, don't teach in the school. Let the children learn at home. A school should be the place for the assessment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You assess the child and then you rate him where he stand. Or even if, if, a, uh, if some teaching has to happen, the child will come prepared. When child is prepared, that day only you hand, uh, uh, take the lesson and then get best from the child. You don't give your best, get best from the child. And you will find this 35, 30, 35 children will give much more information than what, pay, uh, what uh, the teacher has got. Mm. So it's, a, it's a form of very active learning rather than passive yes, learning. Active, interactive, interactive, learning yeah, interactive learning, you say. Interactive. Yes, yes, yes yeah, it is. Absolutely. I, yeah, absolutely agree. Uh, or you can give students readings, a lot of readings to do. Um, and they then go and explore Hello. different can't readings. Hear. Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Hello? I can't hear you. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hi. Now it's clear. Yeah. Say it uh, again. Say it again. I, I was saying um, in, in Western schools, for example, they have what they call recitation, where you know they give a bunch of readings, a lot of readings huh. to do, and so the students go and read a lot on some topic. But they, you know, like for example, philosophy. There's lots of extra readings to do in philosophy. So then you read, and then you come to the recitation class, and you explain what what the material was. Uh, so that's, I guess that's kind of like what you're saying, but uh, uh, maybe uh, less, uh, less, I don't know, I don't know if it's that independent or not, but um, the, the teacher is certainly telling them what to read. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whereas what you're saying is the students understand what they need to read. They go and do their search and then they will come and present. In fact, we have got flipped classes where the children take the lesson 
and teacher just uh, oh, okay. uh, summarize the lesson. Teacher just summarize yeah. the lesson. Children actually they become active. Uh, they they are on the uh, stage, uh, not teacher. And yeah. in IB curriculum, I'll tell you, IB curriculum uh, one uh, uh, four thousand words essay is there. So before twelfth class, you have to write a four thousand words essay, and that should mm -hmm. be your original. That should be you can do a lot of research, and this should be your original. And that they have to do, and for which prepare them for the uh, that uh, same uh, Western education. What you were talking about? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so you have a Toastmaster behind you, and I know you are uh, from seeing your Facebook <laughs> pictures. You're very involved with Toastmasters, and even back in the day, you were very into or fond of uh, public I, speaking. I, in fact, you would. I don't know if you remember. You would. Call some of us on stage. For example, you would call me on stage during assembly and ask me to give an impromptu speech, <laughs> and I would embarrass myself. Uh, but no, those were uh, really good. Um, I guess uh, baptism by fire. You know, you have to. If you're standing in front of hundreds of students. You just have to speak, and so that that's that was a nice way you taught us how to <laughs> just public speak. But you are uh, very involved in Toastmasters, and and this is something a new passion, or did you have that since before? No, no. Uh, this uh, 2007 only I started. Uh, oh wow! Okay. In fact, uh, Friday is, uh, that our meeting used to happen Friday early morning. So wow. Friday early morning, 7:30 to 9:30, we used to have uh, the meeting. So I said, uh, why to waste uh, that uh, Friday morning? I'll be just sitting with this. Intellectual people, very very seasoned speakers were there from different uh, uh, state of society, different mm -hmm. uh, uh, like profession, and that yeah. company is very very good. I like it. So I said, okay, uh, beside being with the teachers, beside being with the same educationist, let me yeah. be with different here. So that mm -hmm. gave a nice idea. So I, I started. Though speaking was not a problem for a teacher, we keep speaking only, but mm -hmm. there was a something. Something you have to speak only for two minutes, and if you exceed mm -hmm. thirty second extra, you are disqualified. Yeah. You are zero actually. They don't give yeah. any marks. Zero. <laughs> Either zero. you are the best or you are. Yeah. In fact, I shared the stage one of the uh, lady who was the uh, second runner up in the world championship. Huh. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, okay, and then we shared the stage. Uh, I also gave a speech. And uh, she was really superb. She uh, gave an hour this time speech, and then she practiced for six months one speech, ten minutes a speech for six months she practiced, and then she gave. And I did not have that much time. I just gave the speech. Okay. So anyway, but this gives a lot of a, a, like what we a, the Toastmaster organization is a very like non-profit organization, very limited uh, amount uh, you have to pay for the whole year. And I was there connected with them uh, up to twelve years. And then I'm still uh, the member, so here now I guide the other people so that how to become. And I uh, already achieved the highest uh, level in that DTM, Distinguished okay. Toastmaster, and wow. that is uh, like I can speak like uh, after DTM you can speak on any topic, any time, okay, and any time any topic suddenly given you can mm. speak. Mm. I can give a like a political lecture also. I was thinking about joining politics, but then I said it is not <laughs> but, <laughs> may not be fit for me. All, all, all people get corrupted with politics. <laughs> but but uh, but, uh, yeah, but uh, we can give a speech of that that level. That's not a problem. And one one more thing, I'll tell you that one of the best speech we rated because in at Osmasa also we rated different speech in the world. Uh, Barack Obama's acceptance acceptance speech. Mm -hmm. We rated. Okay, it was one of the best ever spoken. Yeah, you see the balance. You see the uh, the different mm -hmm. areas he covered, and you see how positive he spoke about everyone. It's amazing, and that yeah. delivery, delivery was outstanding. Mm -hmm. Again, that oh, yeah, very clear, best. very clear, and that that is the speech. Like that's what we keep assessing, and everybody's speech we assess. And then we see whether he spoke well or not. Okay. Like that, there's the training is there. And in fact, what I did then, I applied in the school. I started giving youth leadership program. In fact, I think one of you, uh, like some of you, have participated in youth leadership program or Toastmaster. I, it did. was in, was in your eleventh class. We did. Mr. We Anil did. Nair came. Mr. Anil Nair. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I was there. Yes, yes. Okay. 
So after that, uh, like, uh, in fact, I met Anil Ayer later. On, and Speech then we, we did this type of program. And I have trained about uh, more than 200 students I've trained. They became an outstanding speaker. So like, uh, I, I used to have one month program youth leadership program and in, the, in that we used to train them how to prepare a speech and how to write and how to speak and different way and uh, like uh, that uh, different modules i used to have so i have given in fujara arun fujara i have given that youth leadership mm -hmm. program but yeah. that was that was actually very good uh, i think uh, as you mentioned so that was grade 11 i think as uh, yes grade 11 you were in grade 11 yes that time. Fact, yeah. i i had no clue about what toastmasters was until then uh -huh. I actually walked out of it pretty impressed. It was good. And then I started following up. I probably went to a couple of Toastmasters. I didn't go after that. But I think it was a very good thing for that age group. So like yes, I, would it. It yes, to, yes. I would recommend it to kids 15, 16. Yes, yes. It's very good. It's very good. Yes, yes. I think one of the important things we learned in that uh, session was evaluation, speech evaluation. Yes, Which yes. very less people were aware of, you know. Right, right. And actually, how to properly listen and evaluate the speaker, the body language, the tone, the rhythm of words. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it was yeah. really impressive. Yeah, Khalid knows all those points. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. I actually don't remember what they taught. But sir, 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 recruit Khalid. Recruit Khalid. Right, right. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's great. Uh, that's, and some of us remember those those days when uh, there was a lot of these club activities and yes. I don't know one one grade they had all these different activities you could join if you wanted to go into the um, speaking club you could join that or if you wanted to go into cooking club you could join that yeah. I don't know which grade this was in but I still remember that you know correct correct <laughs> uh, mono acting that was another one we were in, we were also into into those kind of things drama and mono acting and all of this quite fun those days you know yes, so, yes. because you know studies was dry and you know, everyone wanted to do something different in fact we must have uh, this extracurricular activity very important academics uh, anybody can do but these activities are very they develop yeah, uh, the yeah, skills of your you have to be well grounded yeah definitely that uh, was uh, grade uh, 11 uh, ron grade 11 <laughs> or grade 12 it? we had uh, yeah 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 it was uh, Oh, I remember man. like two classes clubbed into one and we used to have the full full time for this. Uh, yeah. I thought, it, I, thought it was, I, th I thought it was a nice pastime. I didn't, I didn't really know yeah. what was going on, but I had, I had fun. <laughs> so, but yeah, it, it made good. us happy, so it made us better students, you know. So yeah. definitely. Good initiative. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so... Anyone has any interesting memory? So we, we have invited students here, former students, to bounce memories of each other so we can, you know, have some amusement. Yeah. Good so, ones or not so good ones? <laughs> okay, this is our recorded, so <laughs> good ones. <laughs> but uh, any, any, any interesting ones? Like, well, all I remember was, uh, I mean, I would get invited on stage or during afternoon uh, assembly. And I'll be asked to speak on something, you know. And I, first couple of times, I was my legs were shaking, but then you know I got used to it. Uh, and uh, so those are uh, very colorful memories I have. Of but Ron was a good speaker that time. I remember. And yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, but it's the heat of the speaker, moment. I mean, you're standing in, you're standing in front of hundreds of students. You got to start yeah. doing something, you know, <laughs> even if you're moving your mouth. So. For sure, students are deprived of that today, sadly, you know, because of uh, COVID. But uh, I think I think things will a little normalize later on. But for sure, there's a big disruption in the education system, especially yes, in the yes. UAE. Yes. And um, even homeschooling is coming out very strongly, you know, with the right, yes. uh, Duneha, Dubai, uh, and Northern Emirates Homeschooling Association also getting stronger and trying to request the government so as to recognize homeschooling so that if parents want to basically, you know, have yeah. children homeschooling till fifth grade or year six, and then, you know, let them join into back the actual schooling education system, the government doesn't allow that now. So really? they're really pushing for that now. Yes, they're pushing for that now. And uh, uh, there are there are 15, 16 year olds who have been through homeschooling in UAE also. Quite a few of them who are joining, you know, uh, colleges yeah. and universities. Uh, so that's happening. 
what what is your take on that sir uh, how effective do you think home schooling would be with with all this happening and what are the pros and the cons if you could uh, give us for, yes first of all i'll tell you when both husband and wife are working and when the kg child goes home and open the door of the house i'll tell you sometimes we feel bell this is not parenting is missing somewhere see i, I in fact i uh, like uh, i know different situations are there mother you can't say uh, the one uh, of the spouse should sit at home okay in different situation are there in different places we can't say but i'll tell you home schooling provided either there is a joint family or provided is someone is available over there mm -hmm. if so, both husband and wife are not available who will do home schooling do you feel child can learn on his own impossible no. sometimes we used to give homework and i'll tell you homework will not come on time i'm talking about primary classes i'm not talking about 11th 12th class homework okay but i'm talking primary class is because parent has not seen uh, the child has not opened the book and then the same notebook comes like this in fact the bag mm -hmm. uh, which was thrown one, on one corner a child pick up from there and come back to the school next day yeah. so that used to happen in 11th and 12th also but for other reasons <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but i remember when i home schooling and i think uh, uh, ministry of uh, uae permitted that uh, like aisha maman she was in makka i think makka somewhere where there was no school at all no okay. school means she was at home but she yeah. her mother was a teacher so mother was uh, coaching she used to okay. bring uh, all the years book and then uh, coaching finally and then uh, then she was tested again for the ninth class grade and we, so what, what we finally got the admission Entrance. test if she qualifies she can get into admit, get into the grade 9 she qualified she was uh, extra smart in fact and she qualified and she got and uh, mm -hmm. on a special request she was given admission but i think uh, yes uh, khalid your point is uh, it uh, will come it will come because a uh, school may become abandoned uh, redundant actually uh, mm -hmm. uh, in future maybe 2030 to 2050 i don't think the school will be there or there'll be wow. another shape of the school maybe virtual school or maybe what we can't predict even the jobs will not be there 2050 uh, uh, the jobs which are visible now will not be there there'll be altogether all new jobs uh, a new situation new even education will change completely like we are so, talking about the education what we got and what we taught you and in fact you will be the same thing as i said the word parenting now in fact what parenting you receive don't practice that to your children <laughs> it should be updated yes you should have more skill mm -hmm. if, if you are not equipped with this please get some mentor get some trainer <laughs> how to handle your child precious child it is a almighty god's gift child is not that okay children in general these days are just really very really smart you know it's like yeah, my daughter smart. already yeah. knows how to do the cell phone she knows how to skip the ads on youtube you know it's and she's only two but, okay <laughs> Ron, I'll tell you. Uh, I was uh, interviewing the KG children when I was admitting them in uh, Arun Fujara. So, to one child, I said, "I will not admit this child." The father said, "Tell me, he knows A to Z, and he knows one to fifty uh, uh, numeracy also." I said, "Hello, this is not required. What I expected you to train your child with the values. He doesn't know how to sit." in principal's office he was jumping he was he took the bottle on his own he started drinking chocolate a uh, bunch of chocolate he took on his own i said i'll not admit this child discipline no discipline actually parents should not teach abcd that our teacher will teach very well and in fact they teach better okay with correct diction correct pronunciation and all what is important is the values respect Family values yeah wait for your turn okay i give regards to other these things if we can be ta taught that is important and that was not there and uh, so like this thing is and one child is very hyperactive then i said one counselor is required counselor has to decide whether we can really take him or we need a special uh, a teacher actually the special teacher is required for the hyperactive child otherwise he'll disturb the other children and we can't waste the time of the other children 
So remember, like parenting is a very, very difficult task nowadays. Children are too smart. In fact, I'll tell you, if a child is making a mistake, if child is misbehaving, don't correct the child, correct yourself. Mm. Because what he has seen, see, child behavior depends on number one, my idea. Number one is DNA. <laughs> what he received. Number two, your behavior and your spouse behavior. Number three, the type of food you take. Surrounding. Atmosphere of the house. His interaction with other people. Mm -hmm. And even the color of the walls in the house. Wow, really? The sound in the house. Many factors are there that decide child's behavior. And you are blaming a child. You don't behave like this. Remember, mm -hmm. child will behave the way he is. And the, actually, when child misbehave, you see yourself. You must have done nearly the same when you were a child. Ask your parent. Yes, and of course. Partly yeah. the children repeat what you were. Yeah, yeah, and you are yeah. seeing now. <laughs> that's so true. That's absolutely yes. so true. So that's... We, we, yeah, and that's a very good golden thought. Uh, in fact, we are actually past one hour, so we don't want to keep this. Oh. But if anyone has any uh, concluding thoughts, any any memories that you that you have, please, uh, this is the time. Uh, so, unless, unless Sir, anyone has only, yeah. I do. I do have uh, one of the fondest memories of uh, Harun sir. For me, really, it was I was in a challenging situation uh, at the completion of year eleven where I failed chemistry exam, Mrs. Uh, Srinivasan, I think, Mrs. Srinivasan uh, was my teacher. Uh, so there was a lady teacher, yeah. sir, I don't know if, uh, I don't remember Vishnath. her name anyway. Vishnath. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Vishnath. Yeah. Yeah. She's a very good teacher. So she, 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 uh, uh, I, so I, I had failed 11th chemistry. I was put in a retest. If I didn't pass it, I would have to, I would have had to repeat year 11. Uh, so she suggested to speak to you and, you know, see if I could join classes at your house. And so I spoke to you and you accepted me in and uh, you taught me, uh, me and Vijay justice came to you. Uh, uh, we used to come together because my mom used to drop us uh, and uh, mm -hmm. you taught us really well and we passed. And uh, because of that, obviously, uh, you know, I passed year 12 as well and wow. I, I completed in, in time, right? Uh, <laughs> there wasn't a setback. So I, that is one of the fondest memories I have because uh, th those tuition classes were really good. <laughs> yeah. So Harun sir saved you one year, huh? <laughs> Harun sir definitely <laughs> saved me one year. Yeah. I remember I used to come to Al Gurair. Al Gurair, I used to come to your house uh, uh, in Dera. It was, yeah, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For, for, for me, it's just so good to see you again, sir. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're fine and everyone in the family is fine. Obviously, my best wishes. I am in uh, reasonable touch with Hadi uh, uh, now and then. Uh, but again, as always, good to see you, sir. And uh, okay, thank you. you know, our best wishes. Thank good you. to see you, sir. One one more question I have. Other than our batch, has anyone ever done this? Met you in in person or organized something or, you know, have had a virtual chat with you? Uh, no, no, no. This is the first time I, I was really touched by your very thought, actually. I must say that the children are so concerned about it. They wanted to talk. That's a great thing. I, I really, uh, I'm very happy today. And uh, that's you have made my day actually. Oh, pleasure, Asa. Thank you so yeah, much. Uh, uh, so much. Made. Uh, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Sir. But one thing I'll tell you about this: this night. your batch was one of the best batch because I remember I made this statement. Of course. <laughs> In this class, I have got variety of children. Mm -hmm. Not one type. Like Sanish was different, Marvin uh, Jabraj was different, uh, yeah, Suleiman was different. Yeah, I mean, they are all unique in their field and they mm -hmm. will excel in their different field. Uh, I, uh, and I'm very sure about it. This I made in a statement in a staff room. This class has got all unique children and all are very <laughs> affectionate. I mm -hmm. remember on Teacher's Day, you gave me some gift. 
mm. I was touched by that. And I really, mm. I had tears that this class really so concerned. And I remember that, even today I remember that. So that's really good. And I wish you all the best. Thank you, and sir. I pray for you that wherever you are, you do good. And not only that doesn't finish, your next generation should also do better than you. Yes, sir. yes. I am available anytime for any guiding, I guidance, any counseling uh, in personal field, professional field, or for parenting. Definitely, I can always uh, help you. Individually, you can talk to me and I can help you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, sir. That's maybe something next we can do is child child care seminars or something. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, by the way, thank you so much for joining. I know you're all busy. but uh, Thank you, Ronald, for setting up everything. I appreciate oh, it. Okay. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohit. And we'll, 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 we'll continue to do this uh, with, with other teachers as well, as, as and when time allows. So we'll definitely keep you informed of the other sessions as they come along. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so much. sir. Thank you. Great Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. We will, we, we, will, we will share their recording on WhatsApp, and then, uh, Khalid, you can uh, send it to uh, sir. Yeah, one sure. Time. Sure, definitely. Put some finishing Thank touches you. to it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, sir. Have a good okay, day. Thank and you. Keep, thank keep you, safe. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Salaman. Thank you, Mahit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.